members. You need to let the Lord live on the inside of you. You need to let him live in your hands. Let him live in your feet. Let him live in your arms. Let him live in your whole entire body. So your body can be holy ground unto the Lord. Jesus is back. Jesus is back. He said I go away. But he came on the day of Pentecost. He came and through that mighty Russian wind. He came and he sat up on their heads. The anointing of the Lord of God. Hallelujah. God is still walking. God is still talking. God is still making a move. Because if you believe it, God can work in your members. He can work in your members. You yield your members unto Jesus. God works in your members. That's why Paul could lay handkerchiefs upon his body. Put it, give it to somebody. And demons were cast out. Lay handkerchiefs upon his body. And the dead could be raised. And people were healed of all manner of sicknesses and diseases. Because just like when Jesus was walking and the woman touched the hem of his garment and she was immediately made whole, God has made you where you can be holy ground. He's made you where he can work in your hands, work in your body. Somebody can touch your clothes.
you thinking you all that. I know I'm not all that. I know I'm not. But Christ is all that. That's who's all that. Jesus is all that. And plus a whole lot more that we don't know nothing about. But he wants to use you. He wants to use your mouth. He wants to use your hands. He wants to use your fingertips. He wants to use your feet to preach the gospel. He wants to use your mouth. He wants to use you. That's why he's so.